we are going to see one of the reason why mongodb is so successful and interesting because they have customized their product based on the requirements in addition to the regular collection they have added two more type of collections one is limited by size and another one is limited by time we are going to see about the one which is limited by size that is called capped collections these are designed for high throughput so let us see more details about this interesting capped collections as i have mentioned earlier capped collections or fixed size collections so while creating the collection you will be specifying the size and also note that there is an option parameter where you can specify the maximum number of documents that can present in that collection so this is the syntax for creating a capped collection it's as similar to the regular collection the difference are these three parameters the first one is you need to specify capped as true the second one is you need to specify the size the third one is optional one where you can specify the maximum number of documents that can be present in that capped collection you can easily convert an existing collection to a capped collection one more interesting thing about capped collection is that it maintains the insertion order so when it reaches the data cap i mean the maximum size allowed the old documents will be removed and the new documents will be inserted since it maintains the insertion order there is no query index is present and thus it has a high throughput so they are mainly used for logging and in caching data irrespective of these advantages there are few disadvantages also you can't delete documents you have to drop the entire collection and similarly when you want to update a capped collection you need to create a separate index for that and finally we don't have sharding support for capped collection this is one of the important thing so you need to handle your data carefully now let us see a demo session to understand it very clearly so let me demonstrate uh, about capped collection using robo mongo software it's very very easy so the first step i'm going to create a database for this capped demo db i'm going to create two collections here one will be capped the other one will be uncapped i mean the regular collection so that we'll be learning the differences quite easily let me open the shell first create a regular collection that's easy you know that a db dot create collection and just you need to give the name of the collection this is a regular collection i just named as regular successfully created the second one is going to be the capped collection it's capped the only difference is the arguments we are going to pass in the option field syntax is this you need to specify capped as true size you need to specify and optionally you can specify the maximum number of documents so the first thing is capped is true second one then the next option is size let me specify as 1024 and finally max documents i'm going to specify as 5 created and these are the two collections we got now i'm going to populate values into these collections using a simple for loop the documents are going to be very very simple so for i less than 100 i plus plus here i'm going to insert it collection name is capped dot insert the document format is going to be simple so that understanding will be easier a name 
is x plus i and the age is i plus 10. On executing, oops, I missed a brace here. Let me execute it again. So we got records inserted. Let me do the same with the non capped one, that's a regular collection. Inserted successfully. Let's view the contents. This is the specialty of capped collection. There will be only five documents irrespective of the insert count. Only five we got. If you see in table view, it will be very clear. In the capped collection result, you need to observe two things. One is we have only five documents. That is because we have restricted the max number of documents to five as well as all the old documents got replaced by the new ones. That's what we have specified as FIFO first in first out. So whichever got inserted first got removed first. Let us check the regular collection now because we have inserted 100 into regular collection also. We got many documents. Let me do a count of this to confirm the same. It's 100. We inserted 100. We got 100. But in case of capped collection, though we have inserted 100, we got only 5. So this demos us how capped collection works. The next key topic is we need to see how deletion happens in a capped collection and in a regular collection because we can't delete documents in a capped collection. So let's check that. DB dot capped dot delete. I'm going to take the name from this copy value. Similarly, let me make a find command after that to check the same. I executed this and on finding there is no deletion happened and you can see the values here. So the result remains the same. But in case of the regular collection, be different first let me select that so the value is there this is in regular collection now I'm going to delete this done and on selecting there is no records so this is how the regular collection works delete is easy you can do that but in capped collection you can't delete and if you need to delete it, you need to just drop this collection. So this is one of the main difference between capped collection and the regular collection.